Hello again, this is Zarlin, and I've been playing Kha'Zix. He's been out for about a week. I've been playing him top lane, because I'm not a very good jungler. And, uh, learned some couple of things about him. So this is Zarlin Learns Kha'Zix. Now, uh, one thing that I've learned about him is that he's a lot like Renekton, one of my old mains, if you remember from a video back in the past. He is extremely snowbally. He pretty much, in order to be a uh, useful late game, he has to get a lot of kills or assists or just a lot of gold in general. But uh, if you're not facing a ranged opponent like Nidalee, um, he does quite well and can bully other lane opponents extremely well. But if you've got someone like Nidalee, it's quite easy for her to kill you and harass you quite easily. But if that Nidalee has a uh, Ramus that goes balls deep, it's quite easy to get kills. Now I use the uh, I like to use the stealth to pretty much get instantly away after CC wears off. Um, so as soon as Taunt got off of me, I, I stealthed, and Ramus just kind of went straight in on the tower and didn't back off. Now here, I'm stealing Ramus's blue buff, and he comes at extremely low health, and since I have evolved claws, it does more damage to him, and then just pick him off with my little spike rack here. What I like to do with Kha'Zix, that I found works so far, is evolve claws then stealth your ultimate, and then jump. I find the Tristana jump is much more useful than any than the spike racks can be. Uh, I think the spike racks would be better evolved if you're a jungler, because it will help apply your passive when ganking and such post-6. Now this is about the closest thing we ever come to a team fight in this game, and just pick off whatever targets I find alone, and I do make a couple mistakes in this. Um, so, I'm going to flash over this wall, and I have hit 16, and so I'm going to go into this brush hide and evolve my jump. Just so they don't find me while I'm evolving, and I'm not evolving in the middle of a team fight. going to try and go after Tarek here, since he's by himself. And it takes a lot longer than I expect, and he pretty much just gets away, and the rest of his team shows up, pretty much overcommitted to that chase, and I'm going to pay for it. We're still going to win this game, but uh, it's going to be a bit of a process. Nidalee is extremely fed. Once again, we go and steal their blue. Ezreal gets it this time. And going after Ramus again. I like to go after Ramus simply because he actually doesn't have that much defensive wise against me. And so he's easy to take down. Nidalee, on the other hand, is extremely tanky compared to him. And there's that wonderful Ziggs ult. I'm going to try and go on, in on Ziggs since he's all by himself and that maximizes my damage. Use the jump for mobility to get out of there. I stealth here. Almost die from ignite, and I do something really crazy. Jump in, kill Tarek, and jump out. I don't actually jump. Just kind of walk out with extremely low health. And that pretty much ended that game. The other team surrendered. A lot of teams like to surrender here. And like I said before... Kha'Zix is a lot like Renekton, but the problem with this game was Renekton didn't show up to lane until I was level 3. When we fought there, I had at least a level on him, and he was half health when he's just kind of went in on me because his Nocturne wanted a gank. Using the heal so I can fight against Nocturne longer and just kite him all the way to my tower with Flash and get a double kill for and first blood. Granted, I died, but I really think it was worth it. 
pretty much here I'm just showing Renekton that he's not the dominant laner this time. Renekton really needs to get a lot of kills early, like Kha'Zix. Renekton jumped in here, took a tower shot, so okay. Did not know that he was being protected by Nocturne. I popped my stealth to the exactly right before his fear fears me. And so while I'm feared, I'm stealth the entire time. And then he tries to tower dive me again and still not exactly the best of luck for him. Nocturne really does not like me, mostly because I'm just destroying his Renekton. Jax comes and helps me this time, but you never want to split yourself up while facing Kha'Zix, simply because he does more damage that way. Now I'm just going to kind of play Ring Around the Rosie with Nocturne here and get away with my life. And, uh... They're going to come, but he's going to waste Flash, and nothing's going to come up from the mid's roaming top. Now, this is uh, me not being very experienced with Kha'Zix. I think this is my third game with him here. I keep forgetting to use his passive to its best effect. And right here, if I would have gotten an auto attack off on him instead of just using my Q, he would have been dead. But, uh, and then I just try and get him, but nothing comes of that. And I make another mistake here while facing Renekton. I, I go here, exhaust him, he uh, alts. I stealth and move away from him, but I move away from him right into tower range. And uh, don't get the kill because of it, because I took too much tower damage. And nothing really came of that. I beat Renekton so bad, and the other lanes were okay, that the other team just pretty much surrendered early on. Here, Kale gets blue buff, comes straight top. Because, as I've said, I need early kills. So, once again, bullying Jarvan. And a lot of people seem to underestimate the power of... Kha'Zix 1v1, tower diving him all the time. I don't know if Jarvan forgot his flag was there or not, but Grant, he did get a kill on me, but I didn't have a spree, so it wasn't exactly too beneficial for him. Here, power of Jungle Kale. She's going to alt herself, and we're going to get out scot-free for getting a Jarvan kill. I would have more footage of me not doing well, but doesn't really work. I've played about five games with him since I don't play top a lot. Every time I've had a chance to play top, I've played Kha'Zix since he's came out. And, uh, he's, uh, extremely strong 1v1. Kha'Zix top. Now, uh, here is where I kind of make a mistake. This Jarvan has eventually gets smart and doesn't deviate from his minions much. And so I just kind of go on him as much as I can. And I try to auto-attack him with my passive, and I cancel my auto-attack too soon. And just barely miss the Amumu grab there with my jump. Kha'Zix is extremely, extremely strong. Especially if you move away from minions like Mr. Jarvin's doing here. And I can just show how dominant I am. Here I'm going to place a little ward. I was trying to place it so Mumu didn't see it, not knowing there was already a ward there. And I like to play little mind games. They get just far enough away from minions. And I jump on them. Most people will panic when you take out a large chunk of their health when you jump on them and uh, head straight for their tower, separating themselves even more from minions. Also, don't just walk around a bush that Kha'Zix was just in by yourself. And give him red buff so he can do stuff like this.
Basically, Kha'Zix is just a big bully. So all he does is bully people. Um, if you want to know the build that I use, uh, including runes and masteries, that'll be in the description. And also in the description uh, will be the URL for another Kha'Zix video that I did right before this one, which shows what pretty much what he can do in a team fight if done properly. If it's the proper team fight, that is. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.